Hey, beautiful people of YouTube land. It is your girl, makeup artist Deshaun Hatcher mm -hmm, from New York City. And as always, I am here to help you just be a little bit better today. And today I want to talk about something that seems to drive you guys kind of nuts. How do you condense your kit? Well, I'm going to give you five little things that will help you condense your kit. I want to talk about things that you can swap out for others that will free up a lot of space in your kit. And so the first thing I want to talk about is this. What's the deal with carrying around these huge tissue uh, boxes when you don't have to? When all you have to do is buy these. And in fact, you can get these on Amazon. You can buy them. I buy them in big, not cases, but I buy them like 12 at a time. So I'm never without these. There are 15 in here, two ply, which means you can pull them apart and use them. You can pack two, three. Look at this. You can... You could pack two, three, four, five in here, and it's still not gonna equal the size of this. So that is one way that you can free up space in your kit. Start using these. Let's talk about makeup for one second. I have seen people with kits that have like 20,000 lip glosses in it, and I'm like, I don't get it. Because all you have to do is take lip gloss and mix it with anything, and you'll get a stained lip gloss. And so go out and get yourself a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. One, and you're only gonna carry <laughs> one. And guess what? This one is NK Cosmetics. It's very popular here in New York. I don't know um, if it's popular in other places. This is $1.49. The other one that I strongly suggest you get, and I have that too, um, Wet n Wild has a great lip gloss that I use, uh, and they're, I think, a dollar. Okay? So if you need lip glosses, beautiful people, all you have to do is take a lip gloss, an eyeshadow, an extra lipstick, mix it together. You have a lip gloss, a colored lip gloss. Okay? The other things I notice is that people tend to carry these very large bottles of lotion. I don't understand it. <laughs> oh, shoot, well, you have a lot of models or a lot of people and you really do need a lot of lotion. I understand having a big bottle of lotion. That makes all the sense in the world. But when you have one person, uh, this is enough, okay? So what you have to do is buy these. Go to the little section in the drugstore that sells the cute little items and you can get yourself a couple of these. I always have these small ones in my kit. Um, and, and again, you can pack two, three of these in your kit and it will not take up the space of those large lotions. Let's talk about facial cleaners. Another thing that I see a repeat of are facial cleaners in terms of somebody might have eye makeup remover, then they'll have like a wash, then they'll have like Neutrogena wipes. You know, you have all of those things. And if you don't pack small, then you're taking up a lot of space. When, quite frankly, um, if you just got some micellar water, it takes care of it all. Everything. Everything. It takes care of everything. <laughs> so just get some micellar water, put it in a two ounce bottle. Did you hear me? Two ounce bottle. You don't need to carry this. And then guess what? Oh my God, you're done. Get it? Everything's getting smaller. Speaking of cleaning things, um, the biggest thing that I always see in people's kits are baby wipes. Now, I used to carry baby wipes all the time, all the time. Big, the big, the big box, you know, of baby wipes. Um, even though I thought I was being clever by taking it out of the plastic box itself, okay, and then just using the bag, you know, the little plastic bag it came in. I thought I was genius when I did that. Well, one day I was on a set and <laughs> the person pulled out the baby wipes. They took the baby wipes out of the package and then did this and stuck them inside a Ziploc bag. <laughs> and I was like, whoop. <laughs> I had never seen anybody do that before. And sure enough, 
if I can tell you today, first of all, you pull them out and you put them in the bag and you seal the bag up, they actually do stay wet and they stay wet for a long time. So that's, that's a trick. And then the other thing was, you don't have to carry the world with you. We all know that those things, those baby wipes are about this big. How do I know? Because I used to carry them. They're about this big. Well, if you just reached in and grabbed this much and put them inside a Ziploc bag, well, that frees up space in your kit, doesn't it? And you can also easily put these into a set bag. So you're not having to carry this ginormous set bag. They are right here and they're small and they're wet <laughs> and they're perfect. And then when you need more, you can just go when you get home and you can replenish them if you use them up. But I, I, I got to tell you, I haven't been on a set yet where I have used up these types of supplies. I have been very fortunate. Uh, to realize that I don't need to carry the world with me. So with just these swaps, okay, your kit will get really so much lighter. And if you if you say to me, well, Deshaun, um, I need all those things. Okay, if you need all those things, you can still pack small in your main kit and anything extra that you may need in your brain that you think, oh my God, I need these for today because I'm working on 20,000 people, then you can always pack another little bag onto the, off to the side that contains your big bottle of micellar water, your big lotions, you get it? Big, big things of, of baby wipes. That's what I do when I'm on a big set. I pack an extra little bag off to the side and throw large, the larger quantities in there, but I do not disturb my kit. So I want you to understand that if you plan ahead and also know what you're getting into, get it, get it, know what you're getting into, then you can plan accordingly and you can start swapping this stuff out and you will not have to carry around five million things anymore, nor will your kit weigh a hundred pounds. And I will be back next week with another video to help my fabulous fellow beautiful makeup artist. And uh, like, subscribe, and share. Let me know, do you do any of these things? Do you have these products? Do they work for you? Um, yeah, let me know below because you know how I love your comments. And like I said, I'll be back next week. Bye, guys. I'm <laughs> sorry.